Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on applying atmospheric weather effects to an image in Photoshop. We're going to be working over the top of this black and white render in Photoshop and I'm going to be applying a snow weather effect and then also a rain weather effect on top of this. So we're going to start by just making a brand new layer on top of our base image and filling that using the paint bucket tool with a black fill like so. We're then going to select that layer, go to filter, noise and add noise and we're going to add a Gaussian noise with a monochromatic filter on here so it's just black and white dots and we're going to do the amount at about a 30% there like so and hit OK. Once that noise is applied we then need to scale this noise up so these noise particles appear slightly larger on our image and to do that we're just going to select the layer and hit Control T to transform and then depending on the size of your image we're then going to transform the image up here using this percentage amount. Now my image is 3000 by 3000 pixels so this is roughly around a 500-600% transform so we'll do it about 500 there. If your image is bigger you might need to transform it more and if it's smaller it could be less there. Once you've hit that number in we can just hit the tick button here to transform that effect. So now you can see this more accurately represents small particles of snow or rain potentially as well. So in order to now blend this with the image below, we just need to change the blending mode of the layer from a normal to a screen blending mode. And what this would do, it, was, it will remove any of the black of the image and just leave those white particles, aka kind of resolving a snow effect over the top of the image there, as you can see. Now it might be that you want to remove some areas of the snow. It might be that you don't want it as intense as it is here. We can always change the fill to reduce that effect on the image and we can also add in a layer mask just on top and I usually just add in a blank layer mask like this select my paintbrush tool make sure it's a black paintbrush with a soft round brush on like so put the opacity at about 10% and then you can just paint out areas that you don't want the snow to be as intense in the image and sometimes I'll just do this in the foreground if you don't want the snow to be as intense in the foreground as the background. And we can kind of just paint out certain areas there just using that brush to help us kind of fade that in or blend in the snow slightly more, like so. Now to then turn this snow effect into a rain effect it's actually very straightforward and we can use the same noise we did for the snow to make the rain. So I'm just going to copy this layer by holding the Alt key, clicking and dragging this up and then we'll just hide the snow layer for now. Call this one rain. And we can remove this layer mask for now as well. Now to turn this sort of snow particles into rain streaks, all we need to do is go to filter again, and we're gonna apply a blur and a motion blur to this to give us the simulation that this looks like a rain streaks. And as you can see here, we're going to make the angle of this rain either sort of straight down or slightly angled, like so. And then we're just going to apply a distance to those rain streaks based upon, again, the size of your image. If your image is smaller, you might only need a sort of 50 pixel distance. If it's larger, you might need a sort of 200. So just kind of vary it until you get the effect you want. I think for my one, I'm going to do around a 150 pixel size. And you can see there that we've now got these sort of rain streaks streaking down, which is just stretching out those noise particles to give us that sort of rain effect. It might be that you find the image is a bit grey and washed out. As you can see here, because we've sort of applied that on, it's made the image slightly washed out. If you want to kind of bring that back, we can also apply a levels to that rain. So if we go to our image adjustment layers at the bottom here and go on levels there, we can apply a levels over to the rain to sort of increase or decrease its intensity. Now, if I just use the levels like this, it's going to apply the levels to the whole image, which isn't what I want to do. I just want to apply it to the rain. So in order to make this levels adjustment layer just affect that rain layer, we have to hold the Alt key in between these two layers and clip the levels directly to that rain layer. When you see a white square with a little black arrow like this here, if you left click on the mouse it will clip that layer in and it will have a tiny arrow icon next to it. That way we know that that levels is just now working on the rain. And if I then play around with these sort of black and white scales we can 
decrease the sort of strength of the mid tones of the rain and increase the white tones so the image is less washed out and the rain particles are just sort of overlaid on top like so so you can see there that we're less kind of getting that gray effect that we were before and it's made the main rain more pronounced and the image keeps its contrast as well and then you can also add in a layer mask on this if you wanted to play around with removing some of the rain in certain areas of the image and keeping it in others and sometimes I like to sort of just turn down to streaks of rain just as if sort of some areas are raining slightly harder than others in the image as well just to give it a bit of variety oops there we go make sure you don't move that out like so reduce a bit here too so that was just a very quick tutorial in applying atmospheric rain and snow effects on top of an image in Photoshop. Thank you for watching and if you want to watch any more of my videos on atmospheric effects you can find them on my channel as well. Thank you.